Hi fans, we're so happy to have you here at the ballpark today for Roy Steele Bobblehead Day. It's hard to think of a more deserving PA announcer to, earn, to win this bobblehead. Round of applause for Roy. I'm here with two longtime A season ticket holders who would like to share some of their memories of Roy Steele. To my left is Bob, originally from Oakland, now lives in Fremont. And tell me when you first heard Roy's voice and, and what you thought. It was April 10th, 1968, uh, opening night. And uh, I couldn't really describe the voice until I heard John Miller describe it later as the voice of God, and it was a perfect description. Absolutely. And if you didn't hear that date, that was April 10th, 1968. That is the legacy of Roy Steele's career. To my right, I've got Greg from Clayton, and Roy, of course, signed his bobblehead today. How special is that to you, Greg, to have a Roy Steele signed bobblehead? Uh, I've been collecting all the bobbleheads ever made from the A's, and this go my collection is fantastic. Yeah. Tell me what your, some of your memories of Roy Steele's legacy. Uh, when I was a kid in 72, that's the voice you heard echoing all over. We didn't have the mountain here, what L. Davis's is, but what a great voice. Like the, A great the voice. voice of God. The voice of God is the perfect nickname for it. Perfect name. Well, again, thank you to all the fans here to celebrate Roy Steele and his legacy. We hope you collected your bobblehead. Definitely, definitely a collector's item. And again, round of applause to Roy Steele. Thank you for being here, Roy. Ladies and gentlemen, today the A's are proud to honor longtime public address announcer Roy Steele. Thank you, Dick. Roy was at the mic for the first Oakland Athletics game in 1968 and worked nearly every home game until 2006 when he was sidelined by illness. For generations of A's fans, his voice can conjure the lazy days of summer spent watching the A's with their families or the excitement of October baseball. His professionalism and love of the game are respected throughout baseball. Roy Steele is the first public address announcer in Major League Baseball to have a bobblehead made in his honor. And it is a testament to love and respect felt by the longtime A's fans. Ladies and gentlemen, please salute the voice of God, Mr. Roy Steele. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Thank you very much. It's very emotional to come down here at a, at a time like this, humbled by Mr. Wolf and the A's organization for honoring me this way. I thank Mike Crawley when I got his letters telling me that he was going to do this. Blew my mind. I announced Billy Bean. I was proud of that. That's a good name to announce. Billy Bean, Billy Bean. There's been so many memories. I would think that most of you are too young, but here we are referring back to April the 10th of 1968. There's so many memories. I look at the history of the Oakland Athletics, and it's just been a, a real trip the last 42 years as to what we've been able to do. 1972, 73, 74, 89. Now, a couple that we missed. Going back to remembering Rick Bundy hitting the first home run in dead center. Makes me very proud. My family and I would like to thank all of you fans who over the years have been a part of this great historical tribute to baseball and Oakland. 
Thank you. We're going to pour off the first pitch, and catching will be somebody you won't recognize. Catching the first pitch, one of the best friends I could possibly have in the world, man who's taken care of me for 10 or 12 years, and he's the guy that does the balls and strikes, Chester Farrell. Thank you, Chester. And once again, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And remember, drive home safe. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. And now, Roy Steele will do us the honor of talking out about a ceremonial pitch. pitch. To his partner, his in, the partner in the press box, the press box. Long, -time long time A's, A's board, board operator, operator, Chester Farrow.